A local company was chosen by an international climate organization as one of the solutions to help cities around the world meet sustainability goals. KCBD News Channel 11's Sydney Lowther tells us how this, this company is using Lubbock to make its mark here in the U.S. It is no surprise to West Texans to pass wind turbines while driving down the road, but it would be a surprise to see them in major cities. Uh, but those, as you can see, are big turbines. We can't put those big turbines in suburban areas, urban areas. Renewable wind energy is secluded to rural areas. Bertrand Picard, founder of Solar Impulse Foundation, says that's what flower turbines are made to change. You can install them basically in your garden, on the side of a road, on the roof of a factory. The Solar Impulse Foundation chose flower turbines as one of the solution to creating and maintaining sustainable energy. Not only are tulip turbines small and mobile, they are quiet. Using West Texas wind to their advantage is what these turbines do. Energy is needed, renewable energy, solar and wind are two huge components of that. Flower turbines provides a wind solution that these units are vertical instead of horizontal. Flower turbines come in different sizes to fit each desired energy need instead of wasting any energy. Small turbines can be used to charge small devices you know, traveling somewhere. Medium turbines. They can be put in people's homes that look good, quiet, safe, and provide energy, meaningful energy at low cost. And large turbines. They can be used in commercial and industrial applications, data centers and airports. Flower turbines are currently used in parts of Europe, but the Solar Impulse Foundation recognizes startups that are working to expand clean, affordable, and renewable energy sources. Is the fact that people don't know about it, People don't know that they can be so much more efficient to pull these new solutions on the market and allow the startups to bloom, to create jobs and to become bigger companies. Flower turbines can soon bloom to create energy from wind, solar and water. Sydney Lowther, KCBD, News Channel 11.